Welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2. I'm Nye, that's Trance, and we are on the Computer Mesa, about to fight the MCP in Space Paranoids. Before I do, I did want to point out there are four treasure chests here. Let's make sure to snag them. So number one gives us Oracolcum Plus, one of sevens. Please don't forget that one. Next one will give us an AP boost, kind of important. Number three gives us a bigger item, which I believe is the map. And number four, I can't remember what this is, but it's something good. Ah, yes, Cosmic Arts, one of the really good items. Uh, this is a rather fantastic accessory that we are going to give directly to Sora. Uh, which gives seven AP, which is more than most. Uh, two strength, which is better than I had. And two magic, which I did not have at all. So that's going to do great stuff for Sora right off the bat. Donald gained uh, MP Hastera. Let's make sure that he has that equipped. Hyper healing is good. Um, let's make Thunder Boost. Nifty. And Sora's abilities, I'll give him finishing leap because, you know what? Why not? Anything else I need to give him? Fire boost. Cool. Okay. Um, I have another? Oh, I have another item somewhere around here. Orc Arkham Plus. Right. I thought I already got one of those. Or is each Orc Arkham Plus considered to be unique? I don't know. That's it. Uh, there's no uh, removal here, so I can't check. I really hope so, because I'm pretty sure we beat. I'm pretty sure. I'll go take a look. Anyways, let's go fight the MCP. I'm pretty sure that should be the second Oracle Clone Plus I've gotten. Huh. Anyways, it's off to the MCP's home headquarters. There it is, right there. Hi. And there's Sark. Sark looks pissed at us. That? Sark, the MCP's number two. Tenacious little bugs. Your time is up. Really? Prepare for de resolution So fighting Sark is uh, at first pretty easy, actually. He follows the beat the ever loving hell out of him rule of combat. He also gets to teleport. He has a, a variety of little abilities, but he doesn't get anything particularly special. I think you can play Frisbee with him. Let me see. Uh, yeah, using Zone Guard, which I'm really bad at. Let's see if I can do it, just so we can see what it looks like. Go on, come on. No, no, don't, don't walk to me. Throw your Frisbee. Come on, let's. Where'd he go? And hit him with his own. I missed it. Come on, throw, throw it so I have a time to spawn. And there you go. There's zone guard for you. Okay, and that knocks him out for a few seconds to get a chance to hit him. Uh, he's really, really easy. He has no defense. He doesn't have any real attack. Uh, he just kind of sits here and takes a beating for a while until you take him out like this. Notice that I did not get any uh, bonus level at all for this. It wasn't meant to be the boss fight. In fact... You're very persistent, Tron. I'm also better than you. Uh, we would have made a great team. Except he's for the users. You're for jerks. Hi, I hit you with my frisbee. You're dead. Now, everybody else now who gets that would have been, MCP. like, de-rezzed immediately. This, this guy just falls over. Is the MCP? Now, a question. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't the magnet spell instantly give everything in here? I don't know. How old is this computer software? It's fucking Tron. Think real to real. Together, the world will be ours to control. MCP. You still don't get it, do you? Computer mushiness. Okay, I've never been able to figure out. Sark. When the MCP talks and shows the face, Sark. is he slowing down his spins so he's facing the same direction, or is he speeding up so fast it looks like he's always facing the same direction? Mm hmm. Anyways, uh, the MCP transfers his ability over to Sark. 
brings him back to life and makes him this weird giant. Now this boss fight's actually pretty unique. I like the way they did this. Uh, this is actually going to be a time where you actually do want Tron to be in your main party. So I'm going to drop Goofy in order to get him. So let me get him away for a second so I can use the party commands. Drop Goofy. The reason why we want to be able to do that is I want to be able to use the setup command. Tron, would you get over here, please? Tron. Fine. Yes, yeah, so we do attack Sark's legs. When we attack both, he'll drop down, and we're going to be able to deplete his health bar uh, and knock him out temporarily. I do say temporarily because we are not killing Sark. Sark is not our boss. Uh, his legs don't exactly have a lot of power to them. He is not hard to take down, but you do want to get the final hit on him like that. They'll knock him out. And then we have to attack this, this swirling wall here and do plenty of damage to it. And it will actually break one of these uh, windows. And then we just sit here. Oh, damn it, it's not what I want to do. Okay, well, this is going to waste all that time. It's not what I want to do. Not at all. Just break a couple more pieces of the wall while I wait. Because uh, it did the wrong attack. We'll just wait here. We'll do this. I basically lost my chance to attack the MCP here. So I'm supposed to have a triangle ability here to attack the MCP. Should show up as soon as the mid limit gauge goes away. Come on. There we go. And we hit delete. And you have to hit triangle as hard and as fast as possible just to do damage to his HP bar. But if Sark is up, Sark is going to cause problems like he just did and cause you to lose your chance at this. So you always got to take Sark down. And Sark is why you want to have Tron, because Tron's uh, limit actually allows you to do a tremendous amount of damage to him extremely fast. They'll take his legs down pretty much instantly, actually. And uh, then you can actually work on the wall while you're at it. But you basically do have to break the wall every time. And do that. That's what takes the most amount of time, actually. And then we'll just hit the delete button, and we'll start getting rid of the MCP cell bar. Just like this. This is actually the longest part of the fight, actually getting rid of this. The wall starts to spin, it'll drop down, do a little bit of damage to you, just like that, and uh, and you're done. Now you just have to wait for the wall to finish spinning. If you're lucky, you might be able to get another delete cycle in while Sark tries to reach. I think Sark's going to attack me any second. Got him down about two different health bars, we're about to get attacked, but that's cool, I got plenty of health, and we can just heal up. Sark is still down for the count, so let's see... The MCP is going to do a little attack cycle here. Not really much I can do right now. Uh, Sark just came back online. Let's go take him out. Every so often you'll hear, you know, the MCP go off. You'll hear Sark, Sark talk at you. What I really enjoy is you're taking the MCP out. He's already lost ha over half his health. You hear him say over and over and over, is that the best a user can do? Well, I'm going to delete you in just a second, so I guess yes, it is. I might not have to delete you instantly, because I'm inside, and, you know, the rules work by your rules here. But... Okay, break the wall. Wall's broken, let's get to deleting. Should be almost there. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it on this go-round, but uh, we should get it. Okay, here comes the wall. So I'm going to have to get it on the next one. And he's going to spin the wall up, so I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to do this, especially with it spinning as it is. The so Sark's probably going to come back, unless I can uh, get to that hole real quick. That... Uh, Damn. Get me there, get me there, get me there. Yes! Oh, and the MCP can spawn walls to stop you, but uh, it doesn't matter. We did it. Reflect got up to the maximum. Uh, got some maximum HP increases. Goofy got an accessory slot. But uh, that was it. That was the MCP fight. We did just delete the MCP, because we're badasses like that. Bye, MCP. The MCP turns blue. Apparently blue is for computers, I guess? You forcibly overrode him with something else. We yep. did it! And Tron, it dances. I see Tron has a silly side, too. I learned it from you. Of course, I do have my silly limits. Okay, 
Then I'll tweak your program when I get back to the user world. This is some of the best writing in the game. Maybe we better not try that. I oh, love this sequence of uh, lines Singatron? back and forth here. Dancentron. Sound good? <laughs> okay, okay, fine. But before I crash... Sora? Donald? Goofy? I really do. I love these series the of lines. Users out there. Thank you. You really helped me. You made me so much stronger. Strong. You taught me what friendship is truly all about. Yeah, helping each other and kill I'll giant computer programs. It. As soon as I met you, I knew we were going to defeat the MCP and free the system. Because that happens. What was with the arrows on the walls? I don't know. What's this? What's this handshake crap? Friends hug. Damn it. Isn't this what users do when they're sorry? Handshake. I get it. It's a computer term. It's a computer term. Strong. It's like a promise that we'll see each other again real soon. Mm hmm Okay. Well then. Everybody hugs. Such a dumb joke. That was a dumb joke. It really was. Don't. Wouldn't you think that Don will be the one who wouldn't want to hug? Like that he'd sputter and such. Ah, don't touch me, you bastard! Frick. And then, all of a sudden, where are you going? And suddenly, fisting. What the? And suddenly, Tron commits suicide. Oh, yeah. Tron, no! You had so much to live for. C colon front slash del star dot star dash y. Why? Why? And now we get forcibly ejected from the computer. Uh, not even a smirk at my joke. Nothing. No, it wasn't good. It was fucking awesome. You just don't it's speak DOS. Down. Yay, the things are settling down. The town's anywhere, not... The local variety. Yeah. And it looks like there are fewer <laughs> I love how... Before. I love how you put that. The now only heartless in the area are the local variety. It's like, well, there, there's Heartless, but it's only local variety. It's fine. We know how to handle them. Welcome back. Sora is all kinds of down and depressed. How's the town? A okay. Not a single trace of the MCP either. Everything's back to normal. We made it. Hey. Why Just the, long the lack of emotion in her what voice. Happened? Everything's back Try to normal. We made it. And he Woo. See him again. Victory. Hooray! Whoop the freaking And now Tron is the computer! Yay! Yeah! And now. That's the wrong thing to tell them, Tron. And apparently it's time to tickle the computer. Please stop that! <laughs> and now all of them are gonna mess with the keyboard, and that's a big ass keyboard. I think Tron's been hanging around those guys too much. Apparently Tron's uh wait, wait, just a moment. Finding something, apparently. Show you something I dug up from the system archives. You can what see did you the find, Tron? Back when it was first built. This is actually a pretty cool thing. I I love this uh I love this idea. Seeing the town back when it was first built. Using the holographic projectors built in the town. I'm not sure exactly how this is supposed to work, and I don't think it actually changes anything. But and everybody That's looks right. up. I remember now. How much amnesia does do these guys have? Lots of. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, you know how everyone in this game is pretty much a cameo main character from another game? Yeah. Well, one of the side effects of having a high level of protagonon in the bloodstream is amnesia. It's unfortunate, but there's little that can be done. It's like all of them are, hey, I remember now. Again, it's... You forgot about this? It's part of the condition of being a protagonist. Such a dreadful name as Hollow Bastion. Because the town used to have another name. A better name. Frank! No, 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 that's your sister. 
No, I've known way too many nice people named Frank. Hmm. So, Aerith, give us some exposition, please. Come on, you know you want to. Don't be shy. You can say it. You know, this town had another name once. Hmm? Did it now? Really? Can you put some emotion into that line? Hall of Bastion was known as... Radiant Garden. Yep, she botched that line, too. Radiant Garden. Or as Aerith puts it, Radiant Garden. This is not a cause for uh, any type of enjoyment or surprise or smiling whatsoever. Well, she knows what's going to happen. I think we all do. Okay. Well, that's the end of Tron. So, and this area has been officially renamed to Radiant Garden. Uh, I'm still not going to be doing the uh, Winnie the Pooh episodes. Uh, we're going to be waiting on those. Uh, those are going to wait until I have all the pages. I'm still missing one of them, I believe. Uh, so that's still going to wait. Uh, when we return next time, we'll be heading off into... Uh... Well, maybe we won't be heading off into here. Maybe we'll be coming back here later, because we cannot currently access Twilight Town. We must first pass through the Assault of the Dreadnought. See you guys then. Mm-hmm. <laughs>